and welcome to Foreman Technique. Today I'd like to cover Chaturanga. I want to show you ways that you can modify this position, but also how you can work your way up into a full Chaturanga on your toes. All right, so it's one of the most tricky things that we do in yoga. So I wanted to break it down for you here and uh, show you a way that you can ease yourself into this. So first and foremost, let's come on down. Come on down. And I want you to start in that modified plank position. Okay, so your knees are down, your, ab your abs are in. When you come down into Chaturanga, this is probably the hardest part, is you want your elbows to scrape your rib cage as you lower to the floor. Now notice, I need you to notice one thing. Chaturanga, your elbows go right by your sides, just like this. Notice how low my hands are. So if my hands are up here directly underneath my shoulders, then what's going to happen is you're gonna put a lot of heavy load on those shoulders. So you're gonna to have to move those hands back a little bit, right in line with that rib cage. And what you don't want to happen is this. That's the most common mistake for chaturanga. The chaturanga is pretty much the first top, the first top half of your push-up, your tricep push-up. Is that crazy? It is a little bit wild. That's okay, we're gonna get into it together. So, chaturanga, you're going to bend your elbows, scrape your rib cage, lower down, your chest does not touch the floor, and then usually you'll rise up into an up dog in which if you're advanced, you can lift those thighs right off of the ground. So how do you ease yourself into this position? Well, let me show you. Whenever you're doing that chaturanga pose, here is an option for you. If you get stuck or you tend to flop on the ground, I only want you to bend your elbows as far as you can, keeping them into the rib cage, and then you can just go right into that up dog position. Got that? Now let's talk about up dog for a second. This to me puts a lot of pressure on my lower back. So I personally like to keep my knees on the mat, and then typically you'll press up into a down dog after that. But let's try that chaturanga just a few more times. And this time when you do it, just do a little tiny micro bend in those elbows until you know that you're in the right position. Your elbows are back, they're not going out to the sides, your shoulders are back and down. And only go as far as you can to where you know you're not gonna flop on the floor or get stuck and then press up into that down dog or that up dog right into the down dog. Let's try that together, chaturanga. You bend at the elbows, elbows come straight back, scrape the rib cage, don't touch your belly to the mat, right into that up dog, tuck the toes under, right into down dog. So it's typically the flow that you're going to see in a yoga class. So practice that, practice it. Make sure that you feel really strong and confident there, and then you can eventually make your way all the way down, but without flopping onto that tummy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that that helped.